Zero day threats get a lot of coverage because they are the point at which uh, vulnerability exists in the wild, it can be exploited by an attacker, but there's no patch from the software vendor for it yet. Be that Microsoft, be that Adobe, be that Java, it doesn't really matter. The point is that an organization, even with good patch management, even a fully up-to-date system, would still be vulnerable to a zero day threat. So you've got to think about going beyond just simply patching, beyond AV, which is reacting to known threats, and actually start to move into proactive defenses which can reduce your attack surface and start to prevent the unknown threats like zero days that are out there. With zero days, people want to deal with them as quickly as possible. The problem is, with no patch available, the options are often feel like they're very limited. You might be waiting for AV to update its signatures to try and detect the attack. You might be reliant on the vendor for the patch entirely. So the key thing to do is to reduce that attack surface, mitigate the risk as much as possible. It's been proven that basic measures like removing admin rights, controlling applications that can run can really have a significant impact. Because if an attacker can't gain easy access to admin rights, can't drop payloads to disk that can easily run, then that's going to really limit their ability to move laterally in your organization or to cause further damage. Defend Point provides an entirely proactive solution, which is just as effective against zero-day threats as known threats. By taking proven, straightforward measures such as the removal of admin privileges, application whitelisting, and content isolation, we can really reduce the risk to an organization from all kinds of attacks, be those zero-days or be those known threats.